part 71 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss child action only attribute in MVC. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a blank ASP.NET MVC 4 application. Let's add a controller and let's call it home controller. We already have an index action method here. Let's create another action method and let's call it countries. And this function is going to receive a list of country names as a parameter. Country name is of type string. So the parameter type is going to be list of type string. And let's name the parameter as country names. And let's pass these country names to the view. Now, let's go ahead and add a view. Let's name it countries view. So this should add countries view. Now look at what we are passing to the view. We are passing list of uh, strings. So the model for this view is going to be list of strings. Now what are we going to do with these country names? We want to basically print them using an unordered list. So I'm going to use an unordered list and then an unordered list contains list items. So I'm going to loop through each country name and then print the country name as part of that list item. So let's use a for each loop. And let's call the variable as country in our model, which is nothing but list of strings. So what do we want to do with this country name? We want to print that as part of a list item. And we also want to, let's say, for example, bold the name. So let's use a bold tag as well. And let's print the country name. OK. Now let's go back to the home controller. And let's add an index view as well. OK. So what is this index view going to do? This index view is actually going to list the country names. So let's call this country names. And then now look at this. We already have an action method and its corresponding view. So if you give a list of country names to this action method, you know, this view, this country's view is going to, you know, create that unordered list for us and render the country names. Now this index view is actually going to list the country names. So instead of rewriting that logic here, I want to make use of, you know, this action method. So basically, we want to invoke this action method from this view. Is it possible? Absolutely. And how do we do that? We can use um, action HTML helper for that. So if you look at this action HTML helper, you can pass it an action name. So what is the name of the action method within our home controller? It's called countries. So let's pass that name to this action method. And then obviously, this country's action method expects list of country names to be passed. And look at the name of the parameter here. Uh, it's called country names. So we can pass the parameters as root values okay, of type object. So I'm going to pass the values as anonymous type. What is the name of the parameter? Name of the parameter is country name. So let's copy that parameter name and pass you know, a list of strings. Okay, so let's pass the country names. Let's say, for example, US is one country, UK is another country, and maybe India is another country. Okay, so at the moment within our home controller, we have two action methods and their corresponding views. And this index action is going to invoke the index view. And within the index view, we are invoking countries action method. And that action method expects a list of countries to be passed. And that's what we are passing here. Now let's build the solution. And let's try to navigate to the index view and see if we'll be able to list the country names. So this should list all the country names. Okay, there we go. Now, look at this. Both of these methods here within the home controller are public methods, which means if they are public, then they respond to a URL request. So slash home slash index is invoking this action method. Similarly, slash home slash countries should invoke this action method. 
Okay, so let's pass countries and see if it's actually able to invoke that. Look at that. I'm able to invoke it, but I get an error. It says object reference not set to an instance of an object. And that's basically because this function expects list of country names to be passed. But are we passing those country names? No, we are not. That's why it's it's throwing that error. So let's pass the country names. So let's pass you know the country name India and see what's going to happen. Look at that. It works as expected. Okay. Now here is the problem. I want this action method here, countries, to be treated as child action method only. Okay. I don't want users to be invoking this by making a URL request like this. Okay. So how do I prevent that from happening? Uh, one of the ways to prevent that is is by using non-action attribute. So if I use non-action attribute, let's see what's going to happen. So I use non-action attribute, build the solution, and let's refresh this view. Okay, so it says the resource cannot be found. Very good. So, you know, my requirement is we don't want users to be invoking that by making a URL request, and we achieved that. Now let's say. I navigate to the index view and if you remember index view is invoking the country's action method and let's see if it works now look at that it doesn't work it throws an error and the error states a public action method countries was not found on controller you know on basically on the home controller and why does it complain that because you decorated that with a non action attribute and then within the index view we are invoking that action method using action helper okay so that's the reason why it's not able to um, you know find that action method now my requirement is it should work here so basically I want this action method to be treated as a child action method meaning other views should be able to call into this controller action method in this case index view should be able to call that so how do we achieve that decorate that with child action only attribute so let's build the solution and let's refresh this view and see if it's going to work. Look at that, it works as expected. Now let's try to navigate to countries view directly and see if it works. Look at that, it throws an error stating the action countries is accessible only by a child request. So if you want to treat an action method as a child request, um, I mean child action method only then decorated that decorate that with child action only attribute now let's discuss some of the concepts related to this child action only attribute so that we can answer any interview question related to them so any action method that is decorated with child action only attribute is a child action method child action methods will not respond to a URL request if an attempt is made a runtime error will be thrown stating child action is inaccessible uh, I mean, it's accessible only by a child request, and that's what we see here exactly. And child action methods can be invoked by making child requests from a view using action HTML helper, which we have already seen. Or you can also use render action HTML helper. So let's see how to use render action. So instead of action, let me use render action. So we have render action HTML helper. And if you look at this helper, it expects, you know, action name and the root values to be passed. And that's what we are exactly passing. But still, I have an error here. And what does the error say? Cannot implicitly convert type void to object. Now, this render action method, this actually returns void, meaning it's going to write the output directly to the output stream. So there is a different syntax to invoke this function. And that syntax is right here. So at and then end it with the semicolon. And let's get rid of this one. Save it. Let's go ahead and navigate to the index view. Look at that. It works. All right. So to invoke a child action method, you know, you can either use action or render action HTML helpers. An action method doesn't need to have child action only attribute to be used as a child action, but use this attribute if you want to prevent the action method from being invoked as a result of a user request. Okay, so here we have decorated this country's action method with child action only attribute. 
is it required to be decorated with child action only attribute if you want to invoke that function using action or render action HTML helper? No, not necessarily. Even if I get rid of this attribute, let's build the solution. And then if I refresh this view, it will still continue to work. But the problem with that is that end users will now be able to make a URL request to the country's action method because you didn't decorate that with child action attribute or non-action attribute. I should be able to invoke that using a URL request like this. Look at that. And we don't want that to happen. And that's the reason why we decorated that with child action only attribute. Child actions are typically associated with partial views, but this is not compulsory. Typically, you know, we return partial views with child actions. So if this action method is a child action method, we typically return a partial view, and that partial view will be consumed in another view. Okay, but that is not a mandatory requirement. If you remember, this country's view was a non-partial view, but still it's working. Okay, but typically, child actions are associated with partial views. Child action methods are different from non-action methods in that non-action methods cannot be invoked using action or render action helpers. We have just um, seen that. And we discussed non-action attribute in detail in part 70 of this video series. And using child action methods, it is possible to cache portions of a view. Okay, so this is one of the main advantages of using child action methods. We will cover, you know, caching portions of a view uh, in a later video session when we discuss the output cache attribute. On this slide, you can find um, resources, um, you know, basically a link to my YouTube playlist where you can find all the videos in a logical sequence. You also find a link to my blog where you have code samples used in this demo and text version of all the videos. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.